Well, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says to praise the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence in thanksgiving and come before his presence with praise. And that's what I believe that we need to do today is come before his presence with thanksgiving. And I don't know about you, but there's a saying that always says that, we ought to feel good like a Christian should. That's right. Amen? So I feel good this morning, despite of. I feel good this morning. Praise the Lord. It was a long night last night. I'd like to give just a little short testimony uh, from last night. Yesterday, it seemed like my phone was on nonstop yesterday for some reason or the other. It kept ringing, but it did not ring with a lot of joy. People were dying, people were sick, people were are, are homeless. I've gotten so many calls yesterday. And I said, Lord, what's going on in the world? What shall I do? So I began to just pray and shut everything down, just began to go into prayer. And I began to seek God and ask God, I said, God, what should I do? What should I pray for? The world is in a turmoil. But God said, I'm still in control. Amen. I'm still on the throne. Yes. And don't you ever forget that. Amen. No matter what you see, no matter what you hear, no matter what you feel, don't never forget that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. Amen. So as I began to pray and enter into his presence, I start beginning to think about when I was a child, and how any, everything, nothing mattered but going to church, having a good time at home, reading our Bibles, praying with our friends, see, running with our friends and playing with our friends and eating our friends' house and mom and dad going different places. I began to think about the good times. And I said, God, where are those times now? Where are our families? Where are our loved ones? Lord, where is the voice of God? Where, what's happening in our churches? I had all these questions. Oh, yes. And I began to pray. And I said, you know, this is a night of prayer. So I began to enter it in prayer. And I said, God, strip everything that of uh, my old thinking. Amen. But put me in a new season, in a new mind frame yeah. to yeah. praise you, to worship you. Yes. And to understand the power of prayer. We're in a time and we're in a season that your prayer counts. Amen. And we might think that I don't have this position like Pastor you were saying. I'm not the pastor. I may not be this and I may not be that. But prayer counts. That's right. And we need to learn to enter in, to intercede. Where are the prayer warriors? Where are the intercessors? That's right. And so I began to pray and I said, God, I said, just strip me. And let me just start all over again. And he said that you never lost it. But I will begin to open your eyes. I began to open your ears that you may see farther. Mm -hmm. And that you will hear more of me and less of them. Amen. So I began to pray. Excuse me. I began to pray. I began to ask God. I said, God, I said, why so much? I said, can we bear any more? And God says, I'm coming back. Oh. He says, I'm coming back. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. So be reassured this morning that God is coming back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we are in a preparation time, in a season that when God is coming back, God says, get ready. Amen. Sound the alarm because the king is coming. Yeah. Yeah. And he's coming back for you and he's coming back for me. So at this particular time in this season, I say, God, all I want is more of you Amen. and less Amen. of me. Amen. So I want us to, put, to go into a frame of mind this morning or a mindset of a warrior this morning. Not because of the fact that we have to obtain any physical tools or, or any physical weapons or anything like that, but the mindset must change in this season yes. in order for us to endure the principalities of this world. That's right. And I said, Lord, change my spiritual armor. 
that I might be able to go out in this season and be more effective in this season. Thank you. And I like what Pastor Yu said this morning, because we all raise our hands sometimes to be this and to be that. But when the time comes, we look for the work. Faith without work is dead. So we look for the work in all of us. We don't have to have big titles and big names Amen. to do the work of the ministry. Amen. God has called each and every one of us to do the work of the ministry. So whom he called, whom God chooses, God will use. Not only will he use, but he never set a soldier or warrior out without being armed in the spiritual Amen. garment. Amen? Amen. Yes. So at times we worry and we ask God, God, why did you call me God? I'm not ready. I'm not equipped. Uh, this is not my title. But again, like he said in Jeremiah, before I knew you, he said he formed us. Yes, he did. already knew us before the beginning of time. Amen. So it's time for us now to just rise up and raise our hands and just say, yes, whatever your will is, let it be done, God. Amen. Whatever you Amen. call me Thank to you, do, yes. I'm ready and I'm available. That's right. It Thank may you, not Lord. be your gift. Or it may not be your gift, but whatever you call me to do, I stand ready this Amen. morning. You, so I feel empowered this morning. I, oh, yeah. I, I feel like I just had that second wind. You know how you come, you get that second wind? I feel like I'm riding on that second wind this morning. Thank you, Lord. That God has equipped us and God has given us purpose. And not only purpose, but he gives us destiny. Mm -hmm. there, there, it's not a coincidence when God sent you somewhere. It wasn't a coincidence that Mike and Dale, when they were overseal, that many things happened beyond their control. Right. Things right. happened they didn't think that would happen right. because God was always in control. Amen. 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 I just had to get that out Amen. this morning. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. What a good God and what a blessed God that we serve this morning. I'm overwhelmed with the power of God this morning and the miracles yes. of God. Yes. And God is like, you're like a little child. God, did you pick me? Yes. Way back in the corner. God, he, he looked around, but he says, you. I want That's you right. to serve me in this capacity. You, See, God, he sits high, but he looks low. And he looks at each and every one of us individually. And he knows the timing. He knows the season. And he knows your capabilities. And that that you don't have, God will replenish it and make it even more fruitful. Yes, so what I want to talk, I want to talk about a prophet in the Bible. But I want to take you from where he, where he was and where he is now. And how can we come out of where we were and come into the richness and the milk and honey of God. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Dear Heavenly and Gracious Father, Father, we thank you for this hour of power. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for allowing us to be here today, for refreshing and refill up, Father. Father, I ask, Lord, that you would touch us individually as well as collectively. I ask, Father God, that you would give us wisdom and understanding. Step me aside and let the Holy Spirit begin to move. Father, we pray that your angelical angels are all encamped in this room right now, Father. Father, we pray right now, Heavenly Father, that you will open doors that man cannot shut, Father. We thank you for bringing Dr. Mike and Dr. Dale back with us safely, Father. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the preparation that you've already put upon us, Heavenly Father, for the mission that you've already set upon us. And Father, we just pray that everything we, we do, that you look upon us as good and faithful servants. Job well done. Come on, give God a hand. Praise. He's worthy of his praises. Amen. Praise the living God. You know, I just want to take a moment because it's not me, but it's the spirit of the Lord that lives within. And I just want to take a moment just to remind you again who God is. Mm -hmm. For the Bible speaks that I am the way, the truth, and the life, that no man come to the Father but by me. Amen. He said, I'm Alpha and I'm Omega. I'm the beginning and I'm the end. I'm Lord of Lords and I'm King of Kings. I wanted to be reminded today of the God that we serve. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask for. He said, ask and it shall be given. Knock and the door shall be opened. Seek and you shall find. He reminds us that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. We are more 
then conquerors. Yes. Why don't everybody just close your eyes in the sanctuary just for a moment as we meditate on who God is this morning. Sometimes we have to stop and he said, be still and know that I am God. In the midnight hour, he's speaking. He's praying. He's touching souls right now. He's touching our loved ones far away. He's touching those who said, Lord, I've never been given a chance. He's touching you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He's changing the White House right now. For he's putting things in order. In his divine order. He's changing the mindset of his people. For God so loved this world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him it's good to know that he shall not perish but shall have everlasting life. God, we love you so much. If we had a thousand tongues it just wouldn't be enough this morning to say thank you. And for all that you have done and what you're going to do, we thank you for the gifts and the gift turn, Father. We thank you for this appointed time and this appointed hour. Thank you, Lord. Now the atmosphere has been set. And we can enter into his word this morning. And I'd like to bring your attention to Jeremiah. And the reason why we're going to talk a little bit about Jeremiah, Jeremiah was somewhere in his life where he was lost. God showed him the way. God let him know that he wasn't just anybody, but he's somebody in Christ Jesus. Every one of you are somebody in Christ Jesus. Jeremiah, he was a prophet of God. And we know that a, a prophet is a fourth, not a fourth Th, but a foreteller mm -hmm. of God. That's right. Amen. So he continued to uh, to be a prophet, but he didn't accept the office of a prophet. And many times we do that as Christians today. We are appointed a position, but our mindsets are not there. So God was showing Jeremiah that this is the appointed time, and that whom God chose, God would use. So never be afraid when you're chosen to do something, but feel inadequate. Lord, I don't have the tools necessary. God does not call without equipping. Right. He will equip you with the tools that are needed. So Jeremiah, he saw so much devastation in the world. And when you see a lot of devastation, that makes you think right away, there's no use in me going out. There's no use in me doing that. But when you take a step of faith, and you stretch out on God's word, God would make each step a divine step in his will. So during his service as a prophet, he pled to the people. He asked the people to repent and do what God has you to do. Yeah. And we can do all day long. We can ask each other, repent. Don't continue doing the same thing. And after a while, we just throw, out, throw the towel in. <laughs> but God never gives up. Thank you. And God knows how much we can bear. He already knew that we're going to come to that conclusion. Oh, yeah. He already knew that we're going to come to that area. But what God does, he stretches his hand out and he builds us back up to who we're supposed to be in Christ Thank Jesus. You, Jeremiah, he didn't even want to be a prophet. No. Yeah. A lot of times we hear people, well, I didn't even want to be the pastor. I really didn't even want to be the That's choir true. member. Or I didn't really didn't want to do that. I just did it because they asked me. <laughs> See, the love of everything we do have to have the love of Christ yes, in it. Right. Because if we're to walk in the image of Christ, then everything that we do, our character must match our walk in that's Christ. Right, right. So everything must line up. So Jeremiah, the weeping Jeremiah, he said, well, I, I don't even want to be a prophet. You know, I don't even want to see. I've already been out in the battlefield and I've already asked them to repent, and, but they didn't do it. Mm -hmm. So who am I? You're a child of the living God. Right. You're a member of the royal priesthood. Amen. Who am I? Yes, Lord. So 
at the same time, he, he said to many people, he says, this is just not me. I, I cannot do this kind of work. I have a speech impediment, all kind of excuses. I'm not tall enough. I'm not thin enough, you know, or so. We have all kinds of excuses. But whom God chooses, God would use. Doesn't matter where you came from. Does as long as you have a willing soul and you're willing to do what God's called you to do, you will become bigger and you will become stronger. So try God. See, the challenge is you trying God. If, if God said who we say he is, try God. Yes. If he is who we say he is, we have to try God. But Moses, at the, excuse me, Jeremiah at that time did not want to do that. Now, he, he um, uh, at that time, Jeremiah didn't want to be a prophet. He was interested that many of God's prophets were not all eager to become prophets. So it wasn't like everybody was raising their hand, I'd like to become a prophet. They were not even eager to become a prophet. Moses had objected that he was not eloquent enough. Yep. He didn't speak well enough. He didn't have the right vocabulary. We will find excuses when we think that we're not ready. But greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. Amen. 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 And also, so when you look at uh, Moses, M Moses said he wasn't eloquent. Isaiah had to uh, interject that he was only a man of unclean lips. Now what about Jonah? Jonah ran the opposite direction. <laughs> and how many times do we do that as Christians? There's help needed here, but I'm going to run this way so I won't have to be accountable of what God has called me to be. But God is omnipresent. God is everywhere at the same time. So when Jonah, even Jonah, when he decided to run, Jonah decided that I'll escape from God. But God is an omniscient God. He's an all-knowing God. So we can't run from the call that God has us to do. Right. And this is where the challenge comes in. Try God with everything that you have. Try God. So and it, it goes on to say, um, when Jonah ran the opposite direction, God told him to go to Nineveh. Uh, excuse me. Um, Nineveh. 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 Couldn't pronounce it right. Jeremiah 2. It's not seeing the author as a prophet when the Lord calls him. So we have to consider some points about God choosing Jeremiah in relation to our own lives today. When we're sitting in this room today and God's called you, he said, I want you to prophesy to the world. Who, me? Well, how would the world receive me? The world will receive you because you're going under the spirit of the Lord. Amen. You're going under the divine power of God, yeah. and that's where it makes the difference. Yeah. Now, if I went without the prayers, if I went without the power of God, then it would mean little of nothing. Wow. But when you're standing on the anointing of God and you pray, pray and you prophesy or you're speaking or preaching on the divine spirit of the heavenly yes, father, yes. God will give you power. Yes. The, in the book of um, Acts it says, you shall receive power after the, after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. So the power is within you. It's the ignition that we yes. need to do. Amen? Yes. Amen? It's just like filling a cup. When your cup is dry, the Holy Spirit can't work with something that is dry. It has to be filled in order for you to do the work of the ministry. Amen. So every time you st every time you say, I can't, you step back. You step away from the divine will of God. But it's greater, uh, like I said before, God wants us to step in. Yes. He what matter, It doesn't matter what it costs. Step in because he already knows the end. So it says again, like I give an example about the woman with the issue, issue of blood. She fought her way through, yes. no matter what it took. Mm -hmm. She fought her way through to touch the hem of his garment. Yes. Had she stopped, the prophecy would not have been fulfilled. That's right. So right. she touched the hem of his garment by perseverance. Amen. She kept on going. And this is what we have to do today. <clears throat> we see it. We see it. We have to believe it. Hebrews 11 and 1. Faith. Uh, it's the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence of things not seen. So Jeremiah, in, um, when we talk about Jeremiah, Jeremiah, he didn't see it. Sometimes we don't see the vision clear. But when we walk into the vision, you can feel the presence of God. Amen? Right. We can be sitting in the room. If the Holy Spirit came in this room and took you and said, come, God said, come go with me. Fear, everything grips us. But knowing that the power of God that lives within us, we can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens us. Isn't that wonderful right. to know that we can do all Thank things? We can change this world. 
It said if we just had the faith of a mustard seed, we can even see this whole world change. Yes, sir. And sometimes I just get up and smile because I know God is already working. Yeah. And I know he's already doing a new thing. Oh, he's coming back. And the time is very short that he's coming back. Yes, no more wars and no more sicknesses, no more diseases. Yes. He's coming back. Thank Amen. Yes, Praise God. Give God a hand, yes. brother. Now, Jeremiah, when the word came to Jeremiah via the Lord, it says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Amen. I already knew what you were going to do, Jeremiah, before I even formed you in the womb. He already knew. And it's just like us growing up. Our parents <coughs> know us so well, they already know what we're going to do oh, and what we're going to say just and how are we going to act. I was just waiting for you to say it. Don't they yeah. say that? Yeah. I was just waiting on you. It's just like God tells us today. He's just waiting. I already know. He's waiting on us. Amen. He said, I'm the one that consecrated you, Jeremiah. I've appointed you the prophet to the nations. Jeremiah 1 and 5. To the nations. And he goes on. He says, there are several things here that are wonderful. So God tells Jeremiah that, that um, before he knew, excuse me, before he knew him, before he was formed within the womb. He already knew Jeremiah's strength. He already knew Jeremiah's weaknesses. Mm -hmm. He already knew what he had to work on. And sometimes he takes us like a little vase. And when that vase has uh, a lot of uh, cuts and bruises and it has little dents in it, he takes us, but he doesn't forget about us. He puts us up on the shelf. And when he puts us up on the shelf, it's because he's working with us. Mm -hmm. And he's smoothing out all those, oh, those yeah. dents and all those holes because he's working with us. And it's just like when you plant a plant. When you put the seeds underground, you don't expect them to grow the next day. There's something has to happen in the ground. And it's just like with you and I. When God is working with us, he doesn't put us up front or let us sprout out until we are ready. So uh, a transformation happens in the ground. And that's how God takes us sometimes as babes in, the, in Christ. He takes and he forms us. The transformation happens underground before we're able to come up. Amen? Yeah. And then we mature and we began to grow in Christ. Everybody was a babe in Christ. We had to go from somewhere to get to where we are now. Yeah. But we're never, never out of the area where we cannot grow anymore. Amen. It's faith that we put this faith, trust, yes. and prayer that works together in order to move. It is our faith that moves the hand of God. Jeremiah had to wait to realize that it was God all along. It's not us, but the Spirit of the Lord that lives within is God that Thank is you, our Lord. forerunner. Isn't yes. it awesome to know yes. that all we got to do is just ask mm -hmm. and he'll give it to us? Isn't it awesome to know that our faith, when we have faith in God, it moves his hand? Yes. It moves us out of the situations that we're in into a divine place of where God dwells in. Amen. Yes. When I think about that, I think about Jeremiah, I think about where I was and where I am now and where I need to go yeah. and how I need to get there. Because everything works by a strategy and how to get there. God, am I praying enough? Am I fasting enough? Am I looking in the right direction? Am I going in the right direction? All these things we have to look at. But sometimes we go so unprepared sometimes because we hadn't prayed about it. We have to seek God. It says, seek first the kingdom of God and all things will be added. So we have to seek God first. Amen. It's a checkup. From the neck up. Amen. 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 Because sometimes when you wake up in the morning, do you do we really seek God? Do we ask him, God, what what should I pray? How should I surrender unto you? God, and what is your plan for today? Where is my destiny for today? Lord, give me a word to speak to someone. Amen. And I remember, I remember growing up, my dad used to say, now I want you guys to pick five people, and I want you to pray with them. And, and as we were going in the car, he said, and I've been not seeing nobody come back in the car without praying or talking with five people. You know, now as we get older, we understand that. You know, we understand because the love of Christ 
that's supposed to be us wherever we go yes. and whatever we know situation we're in, the love of God. So I do make a point when I go places, at least one person, I try to say something, you know, to encourage or uh, let the person know that God loves them or oh, something. Yes. Because again, it strengthens the inner man on the inside of you. Yes. And these are things we have to do as Christians, strengthen that inner man that's on the inside. Because you never know what someone is dealing with. You never know what they just came out of. You never know what um, what tragedy or whatever is happening in their life at that moment. Yeah, right. And right. just a word, just a prayer can change lives. Yes. And this yeah. is why we walk in the image of God. We are God's extension, God's hands. And the way the world is going today, wouldn't you want someone to just turn around and say, God loves you? Amen. Uh, don't worry about the situation. This is what we ought to do as Christians. So what does this mean to all of us? After all, we're not prophets like Jeremiah. No, but we are human beings created in God's image like Jeremiah. God knew each of us what our strength and what our weakness was. He know what we're predestined to be. He already know that you're, you're going to already cop out before he asks you. He already know that. He already know that you already have the same excuses that you use over and over and over. He already knows. Sometimes I think God just sits back and just wait and look at us and say, are you done? Because when you're done, I'm going to take control. Right. Yeah. So Amen. God already knows. And Jeremiah, he was such a good example. And I wanted to speak on Jeremiah because Jeremiah was one who looked at the situation and said, you know what? Mm -mm, they're not listening to me already. He was already defeated yes. yeah, that's right. before he even got started. Yes. And that's how we are as Christians today. We, are, we, we consider ourselves already defeated before we even try God. Yeah. And God, and then when we mess up and God straightens it up, we say, God, I should have called on God all along, you know, because he already had the answers. Amen. But we have to be about our, uh, our father's business and yeah. we got to get busy. Yeah. Because talking and saying we're going to do it and saying we're going to do this doesn't mean anything until it's put into action. So we have to put it into action. And we've got to know that God is in the midst of everything free. So we are a voice piece of God. So we are God's voice pieces. So we are warriors of God. There's a difference between a warrior and a kingdom warrior. A warrior sets out for battle, no matter what the, the cause is, no matter what means. But a kingdom-minded warrior would seek first the kingdom of God. Yeah, it would move in the mindset of God. Right. So we don't want to just be ordinary warriors. We want to be kingdom yeah. warriors. Yeah. Taking back what the enemy has stolen. Yeah. And taking it back means that we're, don't, we're not walking with fear. Mm. We're not walking with little faith. We're walking with a lot of faith. We're walking the power we have in God. Yeah. So if God were to split this room in half, and he says the warriors sit on this side, and the kingdom warriors on this side, we all should be on this side yeah. with the kingdom warriors <laughs> you, getting ready to do battle yeah. because they would know who we are warrior. versus a warrior. Amen. A warrior would take you down without, without even thinking, without the tools of God, yeah. without the mindset of God. That's a warrior. But the warrior, the kingdom warrior of God, uses the tools of God, hallelujah. has the mindset of Thank God, you, has the faith of God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank what a mighty, That's what a great. mighty, mighty Amen. God we serve. Amen. A mighty Amen. God. Thank you, Lord. And I pray each day that we become these kingdom warriors. Yes. When Jeremiah spoke by inspiration, the words came to him by God's spirit. This is how God uh, chose to reveal his will to us, mm -hmm. through inspiring selected individuals with his spirit, the spirit of God. Yes. You always know a Christian by the spirit, their spirit, mm -hmm. the right. fruit that they bear, yes. the character. So you can, uh, the, they always say you should know a person by their fruit, and that is true. That is true. You should know them by the fruit, the love of God, the spirit of God. A kingdom warrior walks by that love of God. It walks by that spirit of God. It walks with the authority and the power of God. Amen. 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 
the work which we must do. It says, see, I have appointed you this day over the nations and over the kingdoms to pluck up and to break down, to destroy and to overthrow. God will send us to distant lands and he sends us to distant lands to do just that. To, to help that nation, yes. to pluck up, to break down, to destroy, to overthrow, to build, and to plant. So God will send us to different nations, and he will send us to different nations for a purpose. Yes. And his purpose is to take that nation back to where it needs to be. Yes. Take that nation from an ungodly nation to a godly nation. Yes. So God will send you in front of dignitaries. He will send you from presidents of that nation yes. to change the mindset. And let them know that our God lives not only here, but it lives also in there. Yes. We Amen. serve the same God. Amen. 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 Praise God. And it says this um, that our mission at other times we must speak so as to build and plant, not to destroy, right. but to mm -hmm. build and plant. Yeah. And sometimes Amen. it's just a matter of rebuilding mm -hmm. yes. and planting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our work is incomplete if it is all breaking down because our mission requires building. Anything you take down must be built up. Yeah. So we don't come to destroy and to take things down, but to help to rebuild. Yes, yeah. Amen. Also, our work is lacking if we only if we're only builders because there are things which need to be plucked up amen? Right. amen and i like the way that is said because a lot of times you know oh, we have the mindset of tearing things down but not building back up mm -hmm. or tearing a person down and not building them yes. back up amen. so this is this is not christ-like to uh destroy and not build back up right. so even in our mindset as christians today with jeremiah he took Jeremiah down, but what did he do? He built him back up. Oh, yeah. He took Jonah down, built him back up. That's right. He took David down, built him back yes. up. And this is this is our missions as Christians to take down, to build up, to pluck out, replant. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. So when we go on our mission, our mission, our mindset should be on to rebuild, yes. to rebuild the mindset of people. To know Christ, yes. to live by Christ, yes. and know the Holy Spirit, how the Holy Spirit lives within. And you notice why people get so excited. They get excited because of the Holy Spirit yes. and what the Holy Spirit has done. Right. Jeremiah had a point where he did get excited because he saw his mindset was different. He was a weeping prophet. Yes. And, and he weeped in, in tears, but there were tears of joy. Right. And the Bible and it says that um, weeping may do it for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Amen. So Amen. it seems like times are difficult, but God is always in control. And sometimes the project is not complete until God says so. That's right. Because That's right. we can go and design and we can go and plant, but until God puts his seals on it, his seal on it, it's not complete yet. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Sometimes we have to go back. And continue to reveal, continue to pray, continue to intercede, continue to speak faith, continue to, to allow men to become kingdom warriors yes. before the job is done. Yes. So when you when you roll up your sleeve, the job sometimes is not a job that takes overnight. Sometimes it takes time to rebuild. But as long as you stay the laborers of Christ. Amen? Amen. Because they said that the vineyards are full, but the laborers are few. Yes. We can't be outside talking. We must go on the inside and become partakers Amen. of what God has us to do. And it's like a baton effect. When you get it, you pass it back to the next person. And it continues all over the world. When you use your spiritual imagination, you can see how God begins to do like a domino effect. It passes the baton from one nation to nation to nation to nation until it gets all around the nation. And that's what God wants to do. It never stops. It keeps going and going and going until Christ comes back. Because the day Christ comes back, there's no more excuses. That's there's right. no more, well, I tried to be the pastor, or I tried to go on Sundays, or I tried to read the Bible, be no more of that. 
God's going to look upon you and say, what have you done? Amen. There is a time Amen. of judgment yeah. when he will look and he will ask, what have you done for the kingdom of God? Right. Well, I was just getting ready to do it. Did not know you were coming back so soon. Uh -oh. You know, uh -oh. So God wants us to be ready. Amen. God Amen. does not want us to procrastinate. That's right. He does not want us to be in the back and sitting in the back and just looking. God wants us to be active Christians, yes. participators, yes. and know the joy of the Lord because before Christ comes back, Christ is still pouring down manna. Amen. He's still pouring down his blessings. Still miracles are happening Amen. every day. Amen. we got to take advantage of the time Amen. that is at hand. Amen. 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 We've got Amen. to make that difference. We've got to God can look upon us as good and faithful servants. Amen. Job well done. Amen. Don't you want God to look upon you and say I love the way that you went to that nation and you turned that nation around Amen. to become kingdom warriors. I love the way you went in the hospital and you laid hands on the sick like I told you to, to lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed. I really respect the way you went into the church and said this church is a church of love. This church is a church that is going somewhere right. and we are we are, we are kingdom builders in this church. Amen? Amen. So Amen. God looks upon us every day and I know he's smiling upon us every time we do the will of God and, and every time we do what God has asked us to do. Yesterday, forget about the things that are happening yeah. uh, uh, yesterday. Because yesterday is yesterday, but today is a new day. Yeah. And when a new day comes, our faith level needs to go yeah. another level. Amen. 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 When we begin to intercede as a whole, this is a little room, but it's full of a power in Amen. this room, Jesus. just in this room alone. If we begin to come together to pray Glory. and to intercede for, for one another, do you know our nations can change? Oh, we won't yeah. have so much corruption if we learn how to pray. Yeah. There were the disciples and the Bible say, Lord, teach us how to pray. We don't know what to pray or how to pray. And then there were those in the Bible who thought that they spoke enticing words and big words that God would even hear them better. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's just that we, we lift our hands and we say, God, you already know. Yes. yes. Use me, God. Yes, yes. God, can you use me? God, teach me how to pray in this nation. Amen. Teach me, Father God, to be a warrior, a kingdom warrior. Teach me to have the word that can turn this nation around. Teach me to have the spirit that I would never give up and that I would not be afraid. I will go wherever you send me despite on what they say, Lord. Thank you for your protection. You see, when you begin to open up and allow the Holy Spirit to move on the inside of you, you begin to move. The nation would not move unless the power is in it to move it. So we have to be faith walkers to begin to move. If Jeremiah knew what he knew be, be, before when he was uh, mentioned by all his inadequacies, he would have turned that direction. That's right. If Jonah knew what was ahead of him, he wouldn't have went and hid anywhere. That's right. You see, it's all about taking a moment out and recognizing the God that you serve recognizing who God had, why God had chosen you, and know that God would never send you alone. He's everywhere at the same time. He's omnipresent. Amen. He's omniscient. He's an all-knowing God. All -knowing. He's Jehovah Jireh. Mm -hmm. God, is, God is a provider oh, amen. of all things. So my prayer today is that we just come on one accord. Yes. And we begin to enter into his presence with thanksgiving. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We begin to enter into his presence with the joy that he's given us and with the love that he's given us. And we're talking about that agape love, that love that runs from heart to heart and breast to breast, not the unconditional love that you love one day and you hate the another day, but that agape love yeah. that we have for one another. You, so let's not, let's not start off like Jeremiah. Let's start off today and say, God, I don't want to start off like others in the Bible. But I want, I want more of you and less of me. That's right. I want more of your word. I want more, Father God, that you'll be able to send me that I can be a true representative of the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's come to our feet. Thank you, Father. Praise God. God is awesome. Amen. He didn't make a mistake when he chose you and he chose I, myself. Mm -hmm. He didn't make a mistake. Mm -hmm.
For you are already predestined. You already had. Thank you, Lord. God had already predestined your steps in his word. It's so good to know that we're not in it by ourselves. And that we're not just ordinary people. That we're somebody in Christ Jesus. It's so good to know that all I have to do is call out my father. And he hears me. And he answers our prayers. He's already prepared us for the next journey. He's already prepared us already on, on what's getting ready to happen. What we need to pray for. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you today as we're on God's journey. As we take back what was stolen from us. As we set the captives free. God, we thank you, Heavenly Father, that you've changed our mindsets. That we're kingdom warriors going out, Father God, to spread, to change the mindset of, of our people, oh, God. We know the day is coming near that you're coming back. Amen. But while we're here, Father, let's set up a standard, Father God. And that standard that says, Father God, that I'm sold out to you, oh God. Let every nation, every country, Father God, know that we're kingdom warriors. Let us carry that sign, Father God. We know you Jehovah Nisi, that you carry that banner, oh God. Let us carry that banner, Father God, to every nation. Yes, Lord. Equipping every nation to do the work of the ministry, yes. oh God. Yes. You said, go ye out and teach all, all nations, Father God. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord, broaden our tongues, oh God. Renew our minds, oh God, right now. Right now, oh God. Lord, I ask, Father God, you touch our tongues, Father God. That there be tongues of fire, O oh God. And that we carry your message, Heavenly Father, with such power, O oh God. With such authority, O oh God. That people will stop and stand and listen, Father God. What thus saith the Lord. Yes. We come against any fear from this day on, Father. We come against any hesitations from this day on, from this day forth, oh God. And for those who are listening, this is the day yes. that the Lord has made. And he said, Thank we're going to rejoice hey. and we're going to be glad of it. Thank you, Lord. Because we are kingdom warriors. And kingdom warriors stand for Christ. Yes. Yes. Speak for Christ. Faith walkers. God, we thank you for the impartation of your word, Father God. That, Father God, that we can go to nations yes. and, and we can go to the nations and change nations and yes. change the world, Father oh, God. That we're all in one accord, oh God. And that we're doing the will of God. And we're doing what you have called us to do. This day forward, Father God. We dedicate this day, this day, Father God, that we are kingdom warriors. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. We're chosen generation. Yes, yes. Chosen by God. We're royal priesthood. Yes, yes. And Lord, as we take in our rightful stands, Father God, I ask, Father God, for a double portion of anointing on each and every one of us you, today, yes. oh God. For Father, we're sold out to you, oh God. And our banner says today that we are kingdom warriors. Right. And there's nothing that can separate us from the love of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you this day. Every hand raised in the building. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you Lord. Raising your hand is a sign of authority. And Lord, I ask right now that your angelic angels begin to breathe on each and every one of us right now, oh God. Take out what, what, what needs to be taken out, put in what needs to be put in, oh God. But Lord, I ask, Lord, that you just redress us in our priestly garments, oh God. Our spiritual priestly garments, oh God. 
change our mindsets right now, yeah. Father God. Yes. That we are kingdom minded, Father God. Thank you, Lord. I ask, Lord, that you search our hearts and our minds right now, renewing, Father God. Let us not be conformed to this world, right. but transformed by the renewing of our minds, Amen. God. Amen. Let us forget about the things that are behind us as we stretch forth to the prize of the high calling. Yes. Let us all realize that we can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens us, O oh God. Amen. Lord, search our homes. Mm -hmm. Oh, Father God, ask the Lord Thank to do a new Father, thing right now. Our nation is dying. And we ask right now in the name of Jesus that you intercede right now. Fix those broken homes right now, God. Thank you, Jesus. That I don't know, Father, fix them till I do know, God. Yes, yes. Touch right now, God. God, you know our individual needs, oh God. I ask, Lord, you touch them right now, God. You know our church home needs. God, I know you're already working. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let us line up, Father God, to the things that you would have us to do. Let us be participators, not spectators, oh God. But Lord, on this day, Father God, let us make a decree individually, Father God, that I would no longer be who I was yesterday, but today I'm a kingdom walker. I'm a kingdom speaker, oh God. Let us remember who we are in Christ everywhere we go, Father God, not only in the church home. And Lord, I ask Lord, you would you would send those from far, Father yes. God. Yes. To plant mm. into our church. Thank you. To plant into our schools. Thank you. Knowing the purpose that we have in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I know you're already working in it right now, oh God. Thank you. And we thank you in advance, God, that, it, that it's not just coming, that it's here. And the release is so close, oh God. And Lord, we thank you for it. We thank you for those that are far, God. That are asking, what, what can I do, oh God? Thank you, Father God. Thank you for healing us. Thank you, Lord. If there's anything that you're asking for God, God for, ask him and mean what you're asking. Oh, yes. Tell God who you want to be today. If it's something you haven't been doing, ask God to forgive you right now in the name of Jesus. Get back to where you need to be. Fear would not be an option. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for this day today, oh God. We thank you for your sovereign love today, oh God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that we are kingdom warriors, Father, and we will walk worthy of the vocation in which you have called us, Father God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for you have taken away the mass, Heavenly Father, and you have shown our true identities, oh God. Oh, Father, we thank you for God being a God of a second chance. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that, that death did not even touch our doors, oh God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that we can stand up and say, Father God, that by your love and by you, and by your power, Father God, that we can make it and we can do it, oh God. We thank you this day, this day, oh God. Come on and give God a hand raise. We thank God this day for who you are today, oh God. If it was just a thousand tongues, it would not be enough. And those of you who are listening today, know who you are in Christ Jesus. Know that God has chosen you. God would use you for a specific, for a specific plan that he has in store for you. Do not give up from what God has in store for you. Keep pushing, keep moving, keep walking, keep seeing, keep reading, keep praying. Because God has something special in store for you. So keep on, keep on having faith in God. Because Faith without works is dead, and God has a work in you. So stay true to God, stand tall, believing that whom God God called, God will use. Yes, in Jesus' Lord. name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord.